Hello friends and welcome back. This is our first video in the new social studies series for the high set and GED. Today we are talking all about inflation. What is inflation? Is it good or bad? And why is the Dollar Tree raising their prices from a dollar to a dollar twenty-five? Welcome to Purely Persistent. I'm Michelle. Inflation is part of economics, and economics represents about 20% of the GED and high set tests. From Merriam Webster Dictionary Inflation, an act of inflating, a state of being inflated. Guys, don't you hate when the definition has the word in it? <laughs> Let's look at their second definition. A continuing rise in the general price level, usually attributed to an increase in the volume of money and credit relative to available goods and services. So inflation happens for three reasons. First, a booming economy. So with a booming economy, that means businesses are doing well. And when businesses are doing well, they're usually going to share their profits with shareholders and with their employees. That means they're giving raises. And so if the economy in general is doing well and they're giving everybody raises, that means people have more money to spend and therefore prices go up. Energy prices. When energy prices go up, that means that the cost of goods and services is also going to go up, which means inflation happens and we have to pay more money for the services and goods that maybe a year or so ago we didn't have to pay quite as much for. So the government wants our economy to do well, right? And so there are three different things that the government might do. First, cut taxes if they're doing well and they don't need as much money, right? Second, print more money. If they print more money, that's more money in circulation and prices go up. And also the government might lower interest rates so that we don't have to pay as much on interest and we have more disposable income to spend on other things. The good, the bad, and the ugly of inflation. Well, actually we're not gonna do the ugly. We're just going to go over the good and the bad of inflation. The good. Usually when inflation happens, we have more money, which means we can spend more. Oh yeah. But on the other hand, the money that we had is not going to be able to buy us as much as it could in the past. With inflation, wages go up, right? We're making more money now, people. That minimum wage is no longer $4.50. It's now $7.25, $10.75, right? Wages are going up. But oftentimes, interest rates go up too, and therefore, our money is not going to be stretched as far as it was. Some investments that we have are going to go up, like our house is probably increasing in price. However, some investments are actually losing money. So all that money you have stashed under your bed is not going to be able to buy as much as it used to. So how is inflation measured? Economists are people that study money and the economy and they're going to put together a hypothetical basket of goods and services and this is really what maybe a typical american family would purchase in a certain time frame maybe a month a year that sort of thing they're going to track the goods and services and see what sort of price increase happens and overall that determines whether or not we're having inflation now here's an alternative and way more fun way to track inflation and that is the Big Mac Index, okay? <laughs> so basically what economists do is they take a look at the Big Mac and they compare the price of the Big Mac in different countries and that will tell us whether prices are inflated in certain countries or deflated in other countries depending upon the price of the Big Mac. <laughs> so let's talk about the Dollar Tree, right? Since 1986, the Dollar Tree has had everything $1. Okay, this is what they have branded their company on. 
everything is just one dollar. And if you're lucky enough to be in a state without sales tax, it really is a dollar, right? But inflation has happened in the last 35 years, right? And how have they maintained the rate of everything being one dollar? Well, here's how. By keeping low wages for their employees, right? You have to cut the costs, right? You can't pay the employees an exorbitant amount if you're not making an exorbitant amount. You also have to decrease the quality of the goods. So just think about it. In 1986, your $1 could buy you a lot more than your $1 today, right? So what the Dollar Tree is doing is starting in 2022, they are increasing their prices to $1.25. And this means some stores are going to have this implemented right away. Other stores, it might be April or May in which they implement this price increase. If you are someone that shops at the Dollar Tree a lot, I'm sorry of the economic impact this is making on your life, but that's inflation in a nutshell. Now the economic skills that you've learned in this video will help you with your test. It might not be a problem about inflation directly, but the economic mindset that you've developed from this video will help you with your test. Now, as always, thank you for staying until the end. I believe in you, I really do. And I know that you are going to do such a good job on your test. Believe in yourself too, and you can do it. Okay, guys, have a beautiful day and I'll catch you in the next video.